Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the title of this video suggests, we're discussing due diligence in Thailand. We're specifically discussing it in the context of Thai condos. Now, I've made other videos, in fact, contemporaneously with this one, where we discuss due diligence in a more broad kind of context with respect to property generally, but we're talking about this with respect to condos. Now, obviously, there's the due diligence side of it where you're making sure that the person selling it is, in fact, the lawful owner and can convey freehold title or whatever title you're seeking. In the case of condos, you'd be seeking freehold title. But with condos in Thailand, pursuant to the Thai Condominium Act, there's sort of an extra layer of due diligence associated with ascertaining whether or not the condo can be conveyed to the buyer under the specific provisions of the Thai Condo Act. So what I'm talking about here is foreigners can own a condo in freehold in Thailand, but the overall ownership composition of the condo complex has to be 51% Thai, 49% foreign. So part of the due diligence is ascertaining the quota, so to speak, as to whether or not foreigners can take freehold title in that complex or whether or not that 49% has been sort of filled up by people who've already bought it. The other thing to ascertain as well are things like, you know, whether the juristic person is in good working order, you know, is everything at the land office in good working, well, not good working, but in good condition with respect to land title. But a big one associated with due diligence specifically in a condo context is ascertaining that 4951 to make sure that freehold title can in fact pass to a foreign national here in the Kingdom of Thailand. 